there are lots of parts that need cleaning and this can be quite uh, time consuming. Um, I used to put them into the dishwasher until my wife found out and she wasn't too impressed. So I decided to invest into a small gadget. Here it is, just arrived from Amazon. And um, it's a very small ultrasonic cleaner. The idea is, or the idea is to open this box first of all. And uh, all right, here we have the manual. I'm not going to read. And bear with me. Get out. The cleaner itself. There you have it. It's bigger than I thought it would be, to be honest, which is, uh, well, a benefit, really. The idea is, let's just open. Ah, there's a small basket inside. I suppose I can put uh, whatever needs cleaning in here. Knobs. Apparently it works for jewelry as well, but uh, I'm not the type of guy who uh, has got any kind of jewelry, really, apart from my <laughs> wedding ring. Um, yeah, put the stuff in here like uh, like so here some shafts great they're too long knobs you know quite a few things will fit in here then it goes back into this compartment like so and uh, um, i suppose it needs some sort of cleaning fluid probably just uh, water or washing up liquid you close it all up and um, you switch it on, there's the on and off switch. It's mains powered as well. There you go, just plug it into the wall. And um, I don't know how long the washing uh, um, will last. I suppose a few minutes will do. In hindsight, I should really read the manual. Um, I'm going to try it out now and uh, get back to you. I found a few items that I think uh, are a good representation of uh, what I want to do. There's, for example, this old and grubby tank coil um, and a selection of equipment feet, all over 40 years old. And for good measure, uh, these uh, tarnished RF plugs. Now I'm going to add some water. Apparently the running time is uh, five minutes. And for good measure, you can put in some, some uh, detergent. And they recommend in the manual, yes, I did read the manual, um, some washing up liquid. I really hope this is not going to, there we go, to bubble over. And uh, close it all up. And let it do its magic, hopefully. I can hear a buzzing noise as described, so that seems to be normal. There's an LED light going on. Um, I don't think it makes a difference if I leave the, the thing open or not. Let me add some more water. And um, let me take the camera off the tripod so you can have a closer look of uh, what's going on inside. It actually took only four minutes. Um, let's take the little basket out. The first mistake I made was uh, not filling it up with enough uh, detergent, enough, enough liquid, so the top might not be as clean as I expect it to be. This goes back. And because water and electricity doesn't go well together, I unplug this. That's the only gripe I have with the thing so far, is the, the cord is not very long. Anyway, let's see. Let's dry this off and see the results. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, the results are in. Um, where do I start? The plastic feet are as good as new. The uh, tank coil, I'm afraid the camera won't pick this up properly. The side that was um, submerged in water is sparkly clean. The other one is uh, still spotty. 
So uh, that was to be expected. And I didn't stop there. I also put in some very, very filthy hand tools. And they are spotless, really. And uh, then I thought, uh, how about some old reading glasses? They came out spotless, even the, the uh, troublesome corners and the stuff that goes around your ear. Um, and of course, my wedding ring, which is sparkly now. After all, this is a jewelry cleaner, a uh, jewelry cleaner. And uh, I've got a swollen tongue, and uh, so I'm f I'm very happy with it. I throw a link to uh, ultrasonic cleaners down below. Um, they're useful tools. I paid twenty pounds for this one, or twenty-two pounds, twenty-four pounds, something like this, including delivery. Uh, I bought it on Amazon, but you can buy them wherever you want to. I don't get any any cash back from Amazon if I recommend this particular one. Um, there's a, there are huge price differences. Some of them are twenty quid. I'm a cheap bastard, so I went to uh, for the cheap one. But there are more advanced ones apparently that cost um, up to a hundred pounds, and uh, surely they must do an even better job. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm happy with my purchase. Um, this is not a scientific test. I know this, of course, and it's up to up to you if you want to purchase one, if it's worth the investment. For me, the twenty pounds is well worth it. It costs more to run our dishwasher, I suppose, a couple of times. So thanks for watching. This is a non-radio uh, related post, but um, I hope it uh, proves uh, useful to someone out there. If you like this video, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. And uh, hopefully you subscribe. It would help me out. See you next time, Ron. Thank you. Bye bye. Hmm. Do I have anything else that requires cleaning? Oh, yeah.